Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ne. I am a Cameroonian content creator and based in the States. Today's video, I will be telling you all about my first week in the United States of America as a DB Lottery winner. But guys, this is content you don't want to miss because yes guys, I will be telling you about the time I embarrassed myself, like the village people, the village girl in me came out. So not as to miss this content. If you have not subscribed, just make sure you subscribe, you hit the notification bell. So whenever I upload the video, you'll be the first to know. So guys, I did arrive the United States of America on the, on the 19th, um, sorry, on the 24th of November, 20th. 2019 so when i got to the states like guys i was so so i was in awe with the number of people that were at the airport like guys i was i was taken aback because like this is one of the biggest airports i have ever seen like people zooming in and out like it was a busy place like as compared to where i, where I come from like we don't have things like that this was my first time to actually see this kind of a thing so i was really really happy and then i was greeted by a call because i came in the heart of winter guys this call the call kissed my cheeks and i was like god will i be able to survive this winter but yeah that was it like this is the america <laughs> So guys, from there, I later went to um the uh, my is it the custom officer or is it an immigration officer? I don't, I cannot really remember. So when I got there, he asked to me to give the envelope I was given at the embassy that I was not to open. I gave it to him, and he was like, "So do you?" do you intend to stay at the same address i said no he was like so do you have your horse's address i said no he was like do you have your horse's phone number i said no yes it was at this time that i realized i had effed up <laughs> guys i don't know what came over me i do not have i do not have all that information so what they did was like he asked for her names i gave I gave her names he put every he put her names in the system and he pulled up her number and he called her yes that's why when i saw i was like wow <laughs> so he did pull up her contact and he called her and was like so are you expecting this person she said yes she said i'm already at the airport i'm just waiting for her to come out he was like okay and then the guy gave me um information telling me on how to get my green card i was to pay a sum of about 220 dollars online so that they could process it and then send it to me sometimes they always tell you to pay for this while you're in your home country before you come to the state so that when you get to the state it's easy like it's easy you just get your license i mean you just get your green card it's easy because we probably come within a week or so but i did not do that so um my host took me and then when she took me we went like when i got to the parking lot and i saw the fleet of cars about 500 cars or more in one parking lot and i was like so this is america i was like i was pinching myself like eh? the euphoria guys i was extremely happy i was surprised i was in oh like i'm out of adjectives to use so when we got into the car she was like welcome to america she started telling me things about america and so and she was like she was asking me she was asking me she asked me how i felt i was like well i really don't know for now but coming from cameroon guys like you have two lanes one going up one coming down but here in america you have four lanes going up another four lanes coming down like the roads were gigantic massive like everybody's on their lane not like the crazy driving that we drive in <laughs> i mean like where i came from like me the driving there is crazy so i was like wow i was really excited guys so since i got here on the 24th of, of december we had to pass by the store to get some christmas decorations we went to walmart to get the christmas decorations when we got to walmart i saw the how big the store was i was like guys you only see this kind of big and gigantic stores in africa if it's a mall or a supermarket so when i saw that i was like oh, wow this is this is it wow this is the famous walmart you know <laughs> i was like so this is the famous walmart so we got the christmas she got the christmas tree she got the christmas um and they're cool here guys people like the in, people here don't joke with their christmas holidays like christmas holidays every like christmas thanksgiving new year like it's their top of it's the top of their list especially thanksgiving and christmas yeah they really they put a lot of effort into these two holidays so 
we got all of those we got home i slept through like as we put the things down like as our sons they greeted me like they were so so welcoming so we put everything down i headed straight for bed like i think we got home by 10 so i started sleeping from 10 to 4 p.m because i like the jet lag and everything so when i got up at 4 p.m i helped in um when I got to my 4 p.m., the first thing we did, like, was I spoke with my family. They, they, they were so excited. I was finally in the States, guys. I was like, oh, my God, I really miss you guys a lot. I was holding myself back not to cry. But anyways, you know, we all have to grow up someday and leave home. So when I was done talking with them, I... I helped in um, decorating the Christmas tree. We did decorate the Christmas tree, put some presents on there. It was a good experience because like back home, we don't do that. Like erecting the Christmas tree, putting gifts on there. Like it's it's not really, we did not, I did not really see a lot, a lot of that while growing up, you know. So f she registered me for driving like my driving classes so i was reading a book like is it um i was reading a book so to be able to go take like the test because here in america you cannot um you cannot get your driver's license if you don't take like this and online exams you have to take so um while preparing for that we paid in the money for my green card and yes finally i think in about three weeks or so my green card finally came in the mail yes guys i was super excited i don't know i think my my social security came before my green card or they all no they all came at the same time yes so they came at the same time so I, I that was then like it dawned on me that actually now i am really in america these are my documents i have to start working like this is why i am here so i got those um documents and then immediately we started looking for jobs but guys like mine was crazy because like i did not get a job to after seven months and i'm going to tell you guys why yes because i came like I came before COVID hit. So when COVID hit, like everything was shut down. I came during COVID when everything was shut down. And most of the jobs that people were offering that time were mostly jobs that had like COVID. I mean, like were mostly jobs that had to do with COVID, um, with those who were sick of COVID. And I had never, and this is, I mean, by then, like they had not come up with the vaccine and all those. So we were like really scared for me to go out there into the job market. So like the job I had, I was i used to clean my horse she had a friend that like she needed somebody to clean her house so i used to clean my horse's friend's house i cleaned her shoes i kept basically housekeeping <laughs> in short it's basically housekeeping so yes i did housekeeping i did housekeeping for a period of about a month or so which the money helped me to be able to pay for my that money helped me to to pay for my um my med tech certification so that was how i was able to raise that money guys like it wasn't it really was it wasn't an easy those seven months like those were difficult months for me because my mom was i was owing money like i had to pay back and they were putting a lot of pressure on my mom and not having a job then like it really really messed with me guys like it wasn't it wasn't an easy thing and then this is a funny incident that happened to me when we went to like because i said well, remember when i i said when i um, when i first got here we went to walmart so my aunt had gotten everything and she like told me to go pay for the stuff right since here like they mostly use atm card guys i have never used an atm card in my life so i was asked to swipe can i swipe <laughs> i tried swiping i was swiping left it was no way i kept swiping 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 like people behind me were already getting frustrated so finally one of like one of the workers there at walmart she walked up to me i was like can i help you i said yes and so she like she showed me she showed me how to swipe the card i finally did it and i was really really i was so excited that at least i had learned something new you know because this is something we are not used to back home we mostly use like money we mostly use like we mostly use cash like but here guys i never owned an atm card before so swiping was a big issue to me so basically guys like this is everything that happened to me during my first week so it was within that first week first week first month that i was able to secure like it's not actually secure that um, i was able to get the job in housekeeping like that was what i did for a while even though i had my documents but were scared because like then we did not really most people did not really know what covid was all about i was 
at home for seven months and like i was to a point i was depressed i deactivated my whatsapp because so many of my friends were asking me like hmm you've made it and you've forgotten us have you started working like the pressure was just too much but i thank god like that's why i said like this particular video is just a reminder to me on how far i've come like what i've accomplished so far and honestly i am proud of myself like so most people your stories will not be the same like mine because others got job even in the heart of covid they still got jobs like within a week or within two weeks but mine my own story was different so yes this is this is everything that happened to me my first on my first week here in america my first week my first christmas which <laughs> on that on, on that christmas day nothing big really happened we just got up like we we hugged each other we exchanged gifts we took pictures we ate and slept and that was it guys we call it the day but yes i missed back home because i was back home we're going to cook chicken you know like the preparations for christmas back home so but um the, it was it was not the case here so but it was still it was still really good like it was really was really good because at least we still i still got to spend time with the host family i started knowing them better and better by the day so yes guys this is my story on my first week here in america or in the united states hope you enjoyed it <laughs> please remember to leave your comments down in the comment section and yes guys thank you so much and see you all on my next one bye